Welcome to a brand new vlog guys. Today we are taking what looks like a bullet train here in Ukraine. Okay, good morning guys from Kiev, Ukraine. It's actually our last day. We're here downtown at the train station. Uh, we're heading today from Kiev to Odessa. And, uh, and then we're leaving the country. It's pretty crazy that our entire month has flown by so quickly. So today we're taking something a little different. We're not taking a night train. This is actually a electric train, almost like a bullet train, express train uh, through uh, Ukraine. Something I've never ever done before. Usually I'm taking sleeper trains, overnight trains, but this is supposedly uh, a bit more comfortable from uh, what I've heard. Uh, so we're gonna check this out. Uh, it's gonna be about a six hour ride all the way to Odessa, uh, which would be much quicker than an overnight train and uh, much quicker than the car. Now this train definitely looks a lot different than your typical Soviet trains here in Ukraine. It's actually pretty modern. Uh, I'm told it's actually a Hyundai built train and uh, they even have electronic doors on it. Now as we board the train and get our documents checked, we're really impressed with how clean and modern the train is. But from our first impressions, we see that nothing is in English, which will make your journey a little more difficult if you're a tourist. So our train has just left for Kiev, and I just want to show you guys really quick what the bathroom situation is on this train specifically, because it is very, very different compared to the overnight sleeper train. So again, this is what I mean by it's not foreigner friendly. Everything is written in Ukrainian. Got toilet paper. Um, I'm not sure what this does. Nope. What? Okay. So that's how you use the water. Wow. It's the opposite. I don't know why they made it that way. Got your soap. Got your hand dryer here. I have no idea why there's a plug in the bathroom in case you want to sit on the toilet and charge your phone. A bell to call the attendant, I guess, and I still have no idea what this is. Overall, it's a big improvement to the train situation, but they definitely need to start labeling it for foreigners because it's not very foreigner friendly. Looks like the dining car is just dining. You can't sit actually in it. So let me show you guys the menu real quick. So the dining car is located right next to car number five, if you guys want to know where it is. Um, we bought Nutella and a can of Pepsi for 100 grievances. So it seems that the big takeaway first is that it's the train isn't really foreigner friendly, meaning that most of the signs are written in Ukrainian and um, also in the cafe as well. There's no seating down there and the menu is all in Ukrainian as well. There's like no English translations. Um, so that's one thing you guys might want to know as you're riding this train. We're riding uh, car number nine. It's actually smaller. I'm not sure why, but um, there's plugs in between the seats. Ours has a table specifically, um, which is a shared table. So if you guys want to share a table with somebody, um, you can do that. And the booking online is very simple, but overall the train is actually pretty quiet compared to the uh, overnight sleeper train for sure. Now, in addition to our tickets, we also paid extra for a lunchbox to see what the meals were like. It came in a pre-packaged box similar to what you get on airplanes. Inside was tomato and cheese, crackers, muffins, and chicken and rice. Now, this all cost for an extra 172 grivnas, which is an extra six and a half dollars. It honestly doesn't look like too bad of a meal. You got a muffin, you got rice, broccoli, chicken. No idea what this is though, but I will say it is a very, very small portion. I'm very scared to try what this is. I have no idea. That is sour. It's actually good chicken and rice. Well 
guys, overall I have to say that was a very impressive train. Really comfortable, only cost us 1,000 grievnas. I'll put the conversion down below and six and a half hour train ride later. We're here in Odessa. Uh, they do have a few more changes that they should make, especially for foreign travelers, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for them. But uh, overall, a great experience and really comfortable and quiet train as well. Really modern, I must say, compared to the blue trains <laughs> right across from me that are overnight trains and they are very Soviet. Wow, that was almost a blackout. <laughs> So now we gotta head out and find our Uber and uh, try to find our Airbnb. To you first. We got in, yay! Honestly, checking into Airbnbs late at night is my least favorite thing. Most of all, because, because you can't really see anything, uh, it's a lot harder to check in. And everything doesn't look like the pictures. <laughs> wow, this looks like a scary hallway. Are you scared yet? I used to have these in my Airbnbs. Aha, got it. Well guys, before I fall asleep on the floor here and pass out, let me give you a quick tour of where we're gonna be staying for, ooh, there's a washer. Where we're gonna be staying for the next 24 hours. Oh, this is actually really nice. We have a bathroom. Wow, very clean, very white, very modern, indeed. And here's our kitchen. Wow. We definitely do not have a balcony. <laughs> I don't know where that hose goes, but we'll just keep that closed. Got a nice little living area here. And here's the bedroom. Large TV, closet here in the corner. Pretty cool mirror and a really large bed. So you guys, we're here in Odessa actually for 24 hours only. Um, it is our very last day in Ukraine, well tomorrow at least. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to figure out first as far as like PCR tests, travel documents and such. So this isn't really gonna be like a travel vlog tomorrow. Um, we're just literally working and trying to get all of our stuff organized before our next trip. The train overall though, really great experience guys. I would really recommend it over the sleeper train. Much faster, much cleaner, way more modern. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, comment down below any other questions about the train, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.